What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Once again, Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today, I want to be testing out an electromagnetic detector EMF uh, scanner app. And I want to test it on three iPhones. These two are iPhone 6s, and this is a 6 Plus. Uh, whatever. Not interested. Now, first off, there's definitely a lot of advertisements on it. I want to test them all together to see if I get the same measurements. Oh, I gotta calibrate this one one second. All right, and the first thing I noticed is that these things are riddled with ads. Jeez. Oh well, it's same with the Android ones. So, we're given different measurements, and I'm not even going to act like I know what they mean. <laughs> oh, I'll try this with another app. Measure, measure, measure. I think it's pretty suffice to say... But this one doesn't quite agree. They're off by about 10. But these two aren't so far away. Now the next thing I should do is get a magnet. See if it affects them at all. Oh, there we go. Now we triggered it. Ah, so it's definitely reading something. But they're not all reading the same thing. Two of them are. About. Okay, maybe not anymore. But I could see this being used to see if you were coming into an area that actually had more of an electromagnetic field i'm pr it's pretty suffice to say that even if you get the same ones off the line uh, in sequential order you're not going to get uh, a perfect view across the board and that's a little bit unfortunate but again you will definitely be able to use these to see if you have suddenly walked into a place that has a much higher into a place that has a much higher uh, electromagnetic field. Man, these apps have a lot of ads in them, even the ones for Android. Come on. And there they go. So, that's it for me, Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Have a good one, folks.